tusks, Baba! <laughs> what happened? I'm afraid a ball went through the window, Cornelius. My tusks! <coughs> uh, 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 yes, well, you see, I... Aha! There's the culprit! Alexander, up here on the double, if you please. Cornelius, I, d I don't think Alexander And after had... I just completed my entire repair cost report down to the very last penny. You wanted to see me, Father? Well, actually, Alexander... Yes, about the broken window. But, but, but... Cornelius, I think I can handle it. We know you didn't mean to break it, but even so, I... Excuse me, Father. Alexander didn't do it. I did. You broke the window, Flora? Hmm. Well, it's certainly commendable that you spoke up, but that doesn't repair the... If you don't mind, Cornelius, I'd like to... Flora didn't break it, Father. I did. Well, Palm, I... A conspiracy! Cornelius, perhaps you'd leave me to deal with this tragic situation. I shall have to start my cost report all over again. Good idea, Cornelius. This is a very peculiar situation. Yes, Father. Well, perhaps something that happened to me when I was your age could help sort this out. As I recall, it all began as my friends and I were sharing a toast to the Elephant Express, a proposed railway that would bring medical supplies, knowledge, and technology to the four corners of the jungle. It would be of historical importance. And, well, that wasn't all I had in mind. This is gonna be fun. More grape juice, Celeste? Thank you, Babar. <laughs> This will put you in the history books for sure, Babar. What for? Shipping grape juice by train? <laughs> <laughs> Horror of horrors! Pompadour, what's wrong? The very worst has happened, sire. That irreputable rhino, Lord Retaxus, has set up a roadblock. A roadblock? To block a railroad? Indeed, sire. He has stated in no uncertain terms that this project cannot proceed along its prescribed path until we negotiate a tariff. What? That jungle isn't part of Rhinoland. It seems he claimed it this morning. My tusks! Do you know what this means? No railway. No history books? Surely we're not going to take this sitting down, sire. Hmm. Perhaps there's a way to get around this. <laughs> so, Basil, what's the latest word on Babar's Elephant Express? Detour! Detour? 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 Yes, it seems that the Elephant Express is going through. Well, actually, around your roadblock. They're building a trestle bridge across Great Gorilla Gorge. Confound that Babar! That'll be another crowning achievement for him and another chapter in the history books. Well, not if I can help it. This time I'm going to stop that pudgy pachyderm. But how, Uranus? By trusting me with the awesome responsibility of concocting a plan? Of course, Basil. Why mess with success? My tusks, what's wrong with building the trestle at Great Gorilla Gorge? It's the most logical route, the narrowest span across the gorge. And they've started. I know, but now our detour will run straight through Pleasant Valley. Is that a problem, sire? Well, it's just that, I mean... I guess it's all right. Then we can show Retaxes we don't have to bargain with villains. The Elephant Express will go through! Quitting time! Oh, boy! Watching all this work sure builds up an appetite. Hey, why are you so glum, chum? It's the detour. 
It's going to run through Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley? It's sort of a special place for me. Full of memories. Oh, isn't he cute? Papa. Papa. Oh. We must choose a name for the new baby. Suggestions, Cornelius? Yes, uh, 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 something distinguished, I should think. Uh, perhaps uh, uh, Horatio or Archimedes. Uh, not to mention uh, uh, <laughs> Pompadour. Yeah. Babar. I think Babar would be nice. It's a special place to all of us, Babar. Yeah, remember the fun we used to have? And remember the, the polamosh? Polamosh, Arthur. Polamosh? The polamosh, Saphir. A horrible monster our mothers used to tell us about when we were little. It's supposed to lurk in the jungle around Pleasant Valley. Ha! I'm not scared of that stuff. Well, pull them all sure not. When the train goes through, Pleasant Valley will never be the same. Why not just tell Cornelius and Pompadour how you feel about this, Babar? I can't, Zephyr. Why not? Because he's the king. And whether he likes it or not, he's got a job to do. And that means making sure the Elephant Express goes through. Hmm. <laughs> thing is a polymosh. It's a figment of your imagination. But we all heard it, Pompadour. Then I stand corrected. It's a figment of all our imaginations. Good night. <laughs> Come on, gang. Let's go back to sleep. We have a lot of work to do in the morning. Ah, Foreman! I wonder what repast has been prepared for this morning's breakfast. <laughs> Poached polamosh, perhaps? There won't be any breakfast. All the food supplies are gone, vanished in the night. Do you suppose it may have been... mice? With very large feet. <laughs> polamosh footprints. And I thought I was safe in a tree. Uh, maybe whatever it is is... Friendly. It's obviously hungry. What are we gonna do? I'm sure there's a logical explanation to all this. In the meantime, we need something to eat. Living off the land was a wonderful idea, Babar. Yeah, but what if we're not the only ones around here looking for something to eat? Well, I vote to turn the train around. Right. Then, without the train running through it, Pleasant Valley can stay just like it always was. We have to keep going, Celeste. You know that. Even if the train takes away our special place, it can't take away our memories. You're right, Babar. Remember, Jungle Tay! 
music? <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> You're it. You can't hide from me. <laughs> the Polomosh would visit us again that night. But this time, we would be ready. the men are pretty spooked. They all want to turn back. But the bridge is almost finished. And we only have a little jungle left to cut through. But, Baba, whatever that creature is, it already has all our food. Right. So what else could it possibly come back for? <gasps> Us! Ah! Let's get out of here. Everyone, calm down. We can't make a decision like this. Let's sleep on it and talk about it in the morning. All right, man, let's oh, Yes, it. yes. Good uh, idea. Oh, yeah, 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 I couldn't agree more. That is, whoever is left. Target is in sight, Uranus. <laughs> Sheer genius, Basil. All we need is something to knock out this pin. <laughs> and we'll knock that train right out of the history books. Would a five iron do, Uranus? Four! You see, I, uh... <laughs> is made, we leave! <gasps> Look! <gasps> My tusks, we made it! The logs cleared a perfect path. Once we're across the Great Gorilla Gorge, we'll be in Pleasant Valley, practically home free. It looks as though even the Polymosh can't stop the Elephant Express from going through. Well, I guess the decision has been made. We continue. Basil! And so the tracks were laid, and soon the train would cross into Pleasant Valley. I was certain the Polymosh would try one last time to stop us. I knew what I had to do. <sighs> All right, Polymosh. Show yourself! Right into my trap. Now let's see if I was right. I was right. All right. Who wants to tell me what's going on? Now, where are the young ones? Might I suggest we summon King Babar with a blast of the royal whistle? Yeah, capital idea, Pompadour. Now, uh, let's see here. 
Uranus. Retaxis and Basil? What are you doing here? So all along it was you two trying to destroy our railway by pretending to be the Polo That's ridiculous. I may be a lot of things, but I'm no Polo... whatever you said. He's right, Cornelius. Zephyr, Arthur, and I pretended to be the Polo But why? Because they're my friends. They were trying to do something that I wanted to do, but couldn't because I'm king. Scare us away from Pleasant Valley. It's where we grew up. It's where the memories of... of my mother live. We understand, Baba. Pleasant Valley holds the memory of our history, our beginning. Running the railway over that special place would be a shame. Ha-ha! So the Elephant Express will not go through. <laughs> no chapter in the history books for good King Babar. <laughs> you lose. No, Retaxis. Everyone in the whole jungle loses. And now you'll get that chapter in the history books. I... I will? You're right, sire. Retaxis the Rebscallion, who deliberately expunged the amalgamation of the jungle. Hmm. What does that mean? Loosely translated, it means you'll live forever in the memory of every single creature in the jungle as the pig-headed barbarian who cheated them out of the railway. But it's up to you, Retaxis. <laughs> Can we talk? <laughs> So Retaxas lifted the blockade and agreed to let the train run through Rhinoland. There was a great ceremony as we drove home the historical last spike and christened the new railway the Elephant and Rhino Express. It was a great day for diplomacy and friendship. But the best thing of all was that Pleasant Valley remained untouched and as pure as the memories we held so dearly. 
What has this got to do with your broken window? Well, actually, Flora, nothing. It's more about friendship and loyalty. And now, Palm, did you really break the window? No, Father. But I didn't want Flora to get into trouble. Flora, did you? No, I just didn't want Alexander to get into trouble. But I didn't do it in the first place. Exactly. You were all helping each other out without even being asked. True friendship. But if none of us broke your window... Who did? Yeah! I did. And I'm sure Cornelius will have a few words for me when he finds out. Thank you. 